so Shmuel HaKatan, uh, he, he was the one that found the correct place for the blessing of the heretics, right? He didn't, he established the place. It was Gamliel that wrote it? Or that, that arranged it? No, uh, Gamliel <coughs> asked for it. And Gamliel asked for the establishment of And Shmuel ha- HaKatan came up with it because right. he was, I remember reading or learning this elsewhere, he was an exceptionally pious man, <coughs> one who was always particularly well disposed to other human beings. Who? Shmuel HaKatan. Other, yes. So that, it, it was important to have to somebody, if you're going to curse people effectively, which is a blessing for the heretics, it's important that it's done by somebody who bears no malice to people. Hence his, possibly his name, Hakatan. So he, let's say he wrote it, and he also Mm -hmm. found the correct place for it in the Shmonasra as well. So he forgot it. He forgot during the year. He forgot the shkif bash time shavishol shaot. He contemplated for two or three hours. Do you need the lights on? No. Velo he'eluhu. They didn't remove him. Amai lo he'eluhu. Why didn't they? Ha'amar rav yodamar rav. Ta'a bechol habracha kulan. The prayer leader, if the prayer leader made an error in his blessings, ain ma'ali noto. We don't remove him. We rekas hatzuk him. Ma'ali noto. In the blessing of the heretics, though, we remove him. We suspect that perhaps he's a heretic. Shani Shmuel Hakatan, he was different. What are you talking about? The Ihu Takna, he was the one who established it. Let us be concerned that maybe, I've got the word recanted. Reconsidered. Reconsidered. In other words, he might have become a heretic. Amar Abaye Gimiri Tava Lohave Bisha I have a tradition that a good man does not become bad below and doesn't he? Vahti, but it's written Uve Shu Tadik Mitsid Kato Va Asa Avel When a righteous man excuse me when a right excuse me when a righteous man turns away from righteousness and practices corruption. Hahu Rasha Mikaro that's originally a wicked person, aval tzadik mi karolo, but a person who's righteous from the beginning does not turn. Velo, indeed, no. Vahatna, we learned in a Mishnah. Alta min vahatmecha ad yomotecha. Do not believe in yourself until the day you die. Shehare yochanan kohen gadol shimesh bichuna gadola shmanin shana. Yochanan the kohen gadol serves as kohen gadol for 80 years. Ulavasof nasa. Tzedoki, in the end, he became a Tzeduki. Amar Abaye, Hu Yanai, Hu Yachanan. He is Yanai, he is Yachanan, the same person. Uh, do you want to say anything about Yanai, or we'll keep going? Well, I know a bit about Yanai from reading history. What do we know? Alexander Yanai was the most militaristic of the Hasmonean kings. And he conquered the Galil which wasn't part of the Jewish state at that time. Uh, And uh, he forcibly converted the population by uh, circumcising the men, whether they liked it or not. Really? That's very interesting. It it just all of a sudden brings up in my mind the Druze, that no one knows their exact origin for sure. Anyway, that's interesting. Anyway, um, he also had a wife who, who's Shlomit, I think her name was, I'm not sure. Um, and she had a brother who was one of the sages. And her brother. Oh, we talked about this, didn't we? Set up uh, effectively the education system within his realm. He was the one that hid, correct, when, when Yanai was mm. killing the. Yeah. It's a, a very interesting period. Rav Amar, 
Yanai lechud, the Yochanan lechud, Yanai separate, Yochanan is separate, two different people, Yanai Rasha Mikaro, Yanai was wicked from the beginning, the Yochanan Sadiq Mikaro, Yochanan was righteous from the start. Hanichal Abaye, this is well according to Abaye, Elala Rava Kashya, according to Rava, he said that Yochanan and Yanai are different people, it is difficult, meaning a good man can turn bad. Amalach Rava, Rava will tell you, Tzadik, Mikaro nami dilmahadabe. Even one who was originally righteous can sometimes reconsider and become a heretic. I hachiyamai lo askuhu. If so, why didn't they remove Shmuel Hakatan? Shani Shmuel Hakatan. He was different, like we said. Chilba. He began to say the blessing and made the error in the middle. Dama Ravio Dama Rav. Rav Yosef said in the name of Rav, Itema Rav Yosho ben Levi, in some saying it was Rav Yosho ben Levi, Lo Shanoela Shelo Hithilba, they didn't teach if one er, er, makes an error uh, except where he didn't begin the blessing at all. Aval Hithilba Gmukba Gomra. If he began it, he can complete it. I assume even if it takes him two or three hours. Yeah, well, here it says, then we, if he began, reciting it, then we allow him to collect his thoughts and finish reciting it. Apparently, according to this version, um, he started off correctly, but he forgot what the ending was, and that's why he became confused. It would have been useful to finish the Baraisa about Shmuel HaKatan. Mm. By, was it a Baraisa or was it a Mishnah? Right, maybe it was the Mishnah. Uh, no, it was a Baraisa. Um, it would have been useful if the Baraisa had have told us that after two or three hours, he completed it. Mm. Um, I hadn't thought of that. But you were right. Hanei Sheva de Shabbataka neged me the seven blessings of uh, of the Shabbos prayer that's in the Shmon Asher. Cor- what do they correspond to? Like before we yesterday mm. we had what do they correspond to? Ama Rabbi Chalafta ben Shaul Keneged Shiva Kolot Shama David Al Hamaim. That's from that same um to heal him with the words Al Hamaim. Al Hamaim Hane Tesha de Rosh Hashana Keneged me in the nine uh blessings in the Rosh Hashanah Musa. What do they correspond to? Ama Rabbi Sak Dema Demin Kartignan Kartignin, sorry. Corresponding to the nine mentionings of God's name uh, that Hannah said in her prayer. Dama Mar, Barosh Hashanah, Nifkadesh Sarah, Rachel, Vachana, and on Rosh Hashanah, Sarah, Rachel, and Hannah were remembered. And remember, they all had difficulty. They would children. all bear children. So it was on Rosh Hashanah that they all found out that they would bear children that year. And this is corresponding to Hannah? Well, Hannah's one of them. So we get the nine from Hannah's prayer. So hang on, no, Hannah, shoot, that was on in the Rosh Hashanah prayer. Mm. So the nine, but what's the... Well, they should... She had trouble conceiving, if you recall, and she had Shmuel Hanavi. Yeah. And they've just thrown in the matriarchs who had the same problem. I see. And made the connection there. I see. Very good. Hanei Esrim Arba Anita connected me. 24 blessings on a fast day. Uh, what do these correspond to? Ama Rabbi Chelbo, Keneged Estrim Varvara Renanot, Shama Shlomo Besha'a, Shehichnis Aron, Leved Koche Hakroshim. Corresponding to the 24 supplications, expressions of song that Solomon uh, sang at the time he brought the ark into the Holy of Holies. This, uh, that's from Malachim Aleph. Uh, do we need to say anything about that? No. Tchina, Tchina, prayer, Tchina, supplication, Rina, song. It's actually one of those. It's one of those word plays 
where you change a letter every single every single yeah. word. Tefillah, yeah. prayer, yeah. tchina, supplication, rina, song. I don't know why. I'm not quite sure why I points that out. Ihachi ko yoma nami nemri nehu. If so, let's say 24 blessings every day. A matamri no shlomo. When did Solomon say them? The yoma derachame on a day of special mercy. Ananami be yoma derachame amru lehu. We too say them on a day of special mercy. Rabbi Yoshua me me'ain shmonesre, the abridgment uh, 18. My me'ain shmonesre, what is this abridgment? Ravamar. Me'en ko bracha bracha, an abridgment of each and every blessing. Ushmuel Amar, and Shmuel said, so now this is the quote, right? Yeah. Havineinu Hashem elokeinu ladata derachecha, to know your way, give us discernment to know your ways. Umol et levaveinu liratecha, circumcise our hearts to fear you. Uh, so hang on, the first one was from Atachonen, to know your ways. Umol et lavavenu liratecha, circumcise ahas to fear you. That's from, that's hashivenu. <coughs> Bring us back. Betislach lanu liot ge'ulim, and forgive us so that may we, we may be redeemed. This is, <coughs> uh, forgive us, is slach lanu, so that we, we may be redeemed, is re'ev anenu, and concludes with God Israel. Verachakenu mimacho mimacho venu, keep us far from our sufferings. So that's from Rifa'enu, heal us. Vidashnenu binot artecha, fatten us in the pasture, pastures of your land. That's barecha lenu, blessed on our behalf. Vidash, uh, oh, that's I just did that. Unefutsotenu me'abad tekabet, dispersions gathering from the four corners, from the four. That is Nekabet Nichayam Yisrael, Tekabet Shofar, that is. Veha to'im al da'atecha yishbetu, those who make an error, let them be inspired to judge according to your mind. That's Hashiva Shofzenu, restore our judges. Ve'al harishaim t'nif yadecha, against the wicked lift up your hand. Uh, this is the corresponding to Velamal Shinim, the slanderers. That's the uh, that's the heretics one, right? Yeah. Veismechu tadikim bevinyan yirecha uvitikun hechalecha. Let the righteous rejoice. Allah uh, tadikim on the righteous in the building of your city and in the perfection of your sanctuary. So that's from Vilur Shalim to Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. Uh, the flourishing of the pride of David, your servant. Uh, this is Etzamach David Abdecha, the offspring of David. The preparation of a lamp for the son of Jesse, your anointed. Uh, oh, that's Etzamach. Oh, that's the continuation. Ovarichat ner levenisham ishichecha. That's that's etzemach David Abdecha. The next terem nikra ata taane. Before we call you answer. Before we call you answer. That's shma kolenu. Hear our voice. Baruch ata Hashem shomea tila. I think that's a wonderful prayer. It should be substituted. <laughs> I, think I think it's great too. It's sort of a wonderful concision. It's a one. It is. Layet Allah Abaye Aman Dimitale Havineno Abaye condemned one who would pray Havineno Amar Rav Nachman Amar Shmuel Kol Hashanah Kula Mitzvah Ladam Havineno There you go, Peter. You're in good company. The entire year a person may pray Havineno. <laughs> Rav Nachman, uh, you're not from Breslov, are you? No. Where is your family from? Hello. Bavaria. We didn't have such people in Bavaria. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't quite say that correctly. We don't have such people. 
חוץ ממוצאי, שבת וממוצאי ימים טובים, אקסט בו למערב את ה-conclusion of Shabbos and the conclusion of festivals, מפני שצריך לומר, הבדלה בכונן הדן, ואין אצלי הבדלה, אין כונן הדעת, מתקיף לה רבה בר שמואל, so he objected to this, ונאם רב ברכה רביעית בפני עצמה, לחם רסה הבדלה as a false blessing, you know, completely separate. מי לא תנן, didn't we learn in a Mishnah, רבי עקיבא אומר, אמרה ברכה רביעית בפני עצמה, one recites it as a false blessing unto itself. רבי אליעזר אומר בהודאה, רבי אליעזר said in הודאה, in the blessing of thanksgiving. עטו כל השנה, so in other words we still don't need to do the complete שמונה עשרה, we can still get by. עטו כל, isn't that what it's saying to you? It seems to be saying that. עטו כל השנה כולה מי אבדינן כרבי עקיבא, so don't do we then follow Rabbi Akiva the entire year? The Ashta, Nami Nevi. So now too we should do so. Oh, good. It is what it's saying. Kol Hashem Akula Mai Tamalo Avdinan Ke Rabbi Akiva. So what's the reason we don't follow Rabbi Akiva the entire year? Tam Neisiri Takun Teshasrei Lo Takun. Eighteen were established, Peter. Yes. Nineteen were not established. Hacha Nami. He too, Shva Takun Tamne Lo Takun. Seven were established by the sages, eight were not established. Matkifla Marzutra, Marzutra objected, Benichala, Matkif, the word for objected is Matkif. Benichala Michlal Havinenu Hashem Alakenu Hamadil Ben Kodesh Lechol. But what about incorporating Havdalah? Um, so we can incorporate that into Havinenu. Yeah. Kashia. This is a difficulty mm. if we include it. Oh, in, in other words, in other words, Mazutri is saying we can actually put it inside of the blessings mm. as opposed to making it an additional yeah. blessing. And he expands, he says, no response was offered to this objection and it remains difficult. Mm. So, there's no response to Mao's but there's no resolution either. Okay. Very good. Amara Bivi Bar Abaye Kolashana Kula Mithalala Dam Havineno, the entire person may pray Havineno, Hut Mimot Hag Shamim, except for during the winter, Mipne Shatarif Lama Shela Bivir Kazashanim, because we need to recite the request uh, for rain in uh, in Bivir Kazashanim, which is um, which is Peter, which is what? Which is when we say, I'm getting there, I'll be there in a second. Where is it? Here. The Tembracha. We need to stick that in. In Berkat Ah, yes. We need to put that in somewhere. It's not as opposed to... So now this is the... This is what's referred to as the request for rain. Here we are. And this one here, this is what's called the powers of rain, Mashiv Haruch which is equivalent to the rainy set to be done in winter, Shminya Tara to Pesach. Let's keep going. Matkifla um, Marzutra, they objected to this. Benichla Michla Vedashneinu, oh, by the way, sorry, this is in. This is in the prayer of what's called uh, Mechaye Mitim. So this, the power of rain is mentioned in the bracha of um, yeah, resurrection. Yeah. Resurrection, right. Much well, I like, suppose because the rain uh, causes things to flourish. Your life out of the earth. Mazutra objected to this. Benichola Michal. Uh, let him incorporate the uh, the request for rain oh 
Uh, so hang on. Which one do we do? We do. We do Vetental or Matal Bracha. So it's this one here. That's the rain one. Vetental or Matal Bracha, which is. Um, why doesn't it have a translation of that? And give. Dew and rain. Dew and rain. Uh, at the other time that you just ask for dew, because that's all you're going to get. Mm. So the word for rain here is umatar. And umatar must be rain. Must be rain. I've got a cousin in Israel. Her daughter's name is Matar. There you go. In a country like that, yeah. Rain is a blessing. You think of it. All the problems when there's not enough of it. Apparently last month he it went down a metre. In one month. People will have to It's amazing being there how much you get switched on to, uh, well you would know this probably, you get so switched on to um, water use, on the efficiency of your water use. When I was a kid in Lebanon. In Lebanon? Mm, in Beirut. You? Yeah. Okay. Haven't what? Talked about that before. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, life is full of surprises. Indeed. From the age of... Just before my seventh birthday to just before my tenth birthday, wow. I lived in Lebanon, and we had a very nice flat that we lived in. But that would have been good times. As a child, for me, it was wonderful, the happiest part of my childhood. Wow! But um, in what capacity? Oh, just a dependent child who went to a French school, and I mean, what capacity were your, were your was your family there? Oh. Well, my father had proceeded out here when the British got out of Palestine. Instead of going back to England, he came back here. But because we we had moved from Palestine in 47, we were from Palestine to Beirut, so that my father, who was still in Palestine, could visit us on weekends. The British dependents got out in 47. Most of them went back to Europe. Mm. To Britain. <coughs> but we just went across the border. We had been living in Jaffa. I can oh. still remember part of the drive up to Oh, Beirut. I see, I see, I see. So we were there, and my father could come and visit on weekends yeah. occasionally. But when it, the British uh, were, got out in '48, my father didn't want to go back to Britain. He had two possibilities yeah. South Africa and Australia. And he disapproved of the way blacks were treated in South Africa and thought that in any case it would end up in some big explosion, you know, uprising, mm. and decided to go to Australia. He regarded England as a land of class distinction and privilege, and he didn't want to be part of that either, being a socialistic turn of mind. So he came to Australia, but at that time, you had cheap passages to Australia. But because we were in Lebanon, it wasn't available to us, thanks to the white Australia policy. Um, people, the white Australia policy did not include people from Lebanon, that, that was Asia. So um, he had to come out here, and he worked at two jobs to save up the 600 pounds, 600 pounds, it was next to our fares out. My mother, myself and my two brothers. Mm. So what I was going to say was we had a big tank in a sort of bay over the corner of the kitchen mm. and the water would come on for couple of hours a day Come on. and the tank would fill up mm. and it had one of these copper devices <coughs> that turns the water off when it reaches the fullness and that was your water for the day. There was plenty of water, we were able to shower and cook, 
all the rest of it. But uh, I've always thought that's a very good way of sort of rationing out water. That you only pump it, if there's a shortage, you only pump it for two or three hours. And mm. People gather what they need, and then they can use it. Anyway, back to work. That is a good idea. Mm. Um, okay, so uh, we'll get we'll start with that Marzutra, I think. Mm. Uh Marzutra, Marzutra objected to the ruling. What's the ruling? That we can insert it in the middle of the brachot, I think. Uh, yeah, we can insert it in the middle of Havinenu. Nifla Michal Vetashnenum Binot Artech Veten Talamatar. Let him incorporate Veten Talamatar Bracha into Havinenu. Uh, yeah, he can put it inside of Havinenu, I think it's saying. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Ateli Trude, he may become confused in error when he says those words, though, so it's a, maybe we shouldn't do that. Ihachi, if so. Havdala can also be put uh, inside of Havinenu and you might also become confused. So it's not such a good answer. Amre, they said, Hatam, there with Havdala, cave under Atya Bitchila Tlota Lom Mitrid. Uh, since it becomes a, comes at the beginning of the prayer, he will not become confused. Hacha here, with a case of rain, a request for rain, cave under Atya Beenza Tlota Mitrid. Since it comes in the middle of the prayer, he will become confused. Understood. Matkifla Ravashi, the name Rabbi Shomet Fila. Let him put it in Shomet Fila. Damar Rabbi Tanhu Mama Ravashi. I see, because maybe Shomet Fila is the very, very last part of it. So he, what it's saying to me here is put it in Havinenu. But because the Shemit Fila is the very last part of Havinenu, then it would be an appropriate place to put it. Um, yes, that's what the notes say. Yep. Dama Rabbi Tanchum Amar Ravi Rav Asi Ta'ave Lo His Kir Gvorot Kashamim B'Tchiyat Ametim. If you made an error and did not mention Tchiyat uh, did not mention Mashiv Haruach in Tchiyat Ametim, Machzirin Oto. We make him return and repeat the entire Shemun Esrei. Shela b'ver kazashanim. But if he uh, forgot the request for Ein v'ten tal umatale racha, in b'ver kazashanim, Ein machzir not so we don't make him return. Mipnei she'echola omra b'shomet fila. Because he's able to say it in uh, in the blessing shomet fila v'havdala b'chonen hada'at. Similarly, havdala um, uh is inside of Chonen Hadaat, Ein Machzir not we don't make him return, Mifnesha Chola Omra Al Hakos, because he's able to say it later over a cup of wine, to Ashani. That's something we learned. Yeah, a few days. this is all making perfect good sense so far, isn't it? So, where you made an error, as opposed to forgetting, mm. it is different. Um, what's the error? Well, only where one forgot to say the request for own in the correct place, may he insert it in Shmed Fila. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. Gufa. The text itself, Amar Rabbi Tanchum Amar Rav Asi, Ta'avelo Hizkil Gvorot Geshamim Bishkiyat Ametim, if you made an error and didn't mention, uh, didn't mention Mashivaruach in Shkiyat Ametim, Machsiri Noto, we make him return and repeat, Shela Bevir Shanim, if you didn't request rain in Bivirkarashanim, in Matsir, we don't make him return, we pray Shahola Omra, but Shamet Fila, because we can he can say it again, you can say it in Shamet Fila. Vavdala Bechonadat, similarly Havdala in uh Khanenhadaat, in Matsir Nato, we don't make him return, we pray Shahola Omra Al Hakos, because we just read all that, right? Mesi ve that now we have a challenge to this situation. Ta'a, Velo his kir. Gvorot kashamim b'tchiyat ha'metim. If you made an error and didn't mention mention b'tchiyat ha'metim, machir not will make him return and repeat the entire Shmon Esra. She'ela b'vekat ha'shanim machir not will, and or the request for rain in machir uh, in b'vekat ha'shanim, we make him return. This is that's a new, that's something new, isn't it? But havdala bechonin hadas. 
Uh, however, Havdalah in Chanan Hazad, in Machsirin Ocho, we don't make him return. Mifnesh Yechololam Rimalakos, because he can say later over a cup of wine. So he, so the problem now is uh, is that the comparison of Havdalah, um, you can do it afterwards. Okay, we understand. Lokasha, there's no difficulty. Uh so this is in reference to an, an individual, Habit Sibur, and this is referring to one praying with a congregation. Let's explore that. Habit Sibur, Maitamalo, so what's the reason with the congregation he doesn't repeat? Mishum de Shama'a Mishliach Sibur, because he will hear the request for rain from the prayer leader in the repetition. If so, uh, rather than say it in, uh, rather than saying it in Shomer Tefillah, Mipnei she Shomer Meshliach Meshliach Tzibu Mibaye, Ravasi should have said because he's going to hear it from the prayer leader, but he didn't say that. Ela idivi idivi achit. Rather, this ruling uh, and this and that ruling refer to an individual and the lokasha, there's no difficulty. Had Idka Kodem Shomer Tefillah. This is where he realized before Shomer Tefillah. That makes sense. So where he realized before Shomer Tefillah, he can insert it in Shomer Tefillah. And if he realized afterwards, right, is that what we're about to say? Had Idka Bata Shomer Tefillah. And this one, during the repetition, uh, this is where he realized after he already said Shomer Tefillah. That all makes sense, doesn't it? Does it make sense to you? So, Veten Talamatala Bracha, right? You're praying by yourself. Um, you're yeah. praying, and, and you, you remember, it out. but you remember before Shomer Tefillah. You can insert it in yeah. Shomer Tefillah. If you remember after Shomer Tefillah, what happens after? Then you rely on the repetition. Then you rely on the repetition. Amar Rabbi Tanchun, Amar Amar Rabbi Yosho Ben Levi. Ta'ave lo hizkir shel Rosh Chodesh ba'avoda. You made an error and didn't mention uh, um, mention the Rosh Chodesh prayer that Tia Levi Avo, and you do it in Retze in the temple service. Chazer la'avoda. He returns back to Retze and does it again. Nizkar be'hoda. If you remembered. In Modim, Chazel Lavada, he returns again to Retzeh. Be Sim Shalom, in if he remembers in Sim Shalom, Chazel Lavada, he returns to Retzeh. Be Im Siem, if he completed, Chazel Larosh. Now we're going to explore what explore what completed means. Ama Rav Papa Bere de Rav Acha Bar Ada, Hadam Ran Siem Chazel Larosh. So. We talked about completing and returning to the beginning. Lo amaran ela shakaraglav. This is only where he uprates his feet. In, in other words, taking three steps back. Aval lo akaraglav. If he didn't yet take three steps back, chose lavada. He can still go back to retzeh. Amale. He said to Rav Papa, mena lacha. How do you know this? Amale me aba. Marie Shmia Li, I heard it from my father, my master Abba, Marie Merav, and my father, my master heard it from Rav. Amarav Nachman Bar Ishak, Had Amaran Akar Raglav Chazer Larosh. And that which we said about uprooting his feet and returns to the beginning, Lo Amaran Ela Sheino Ragil Lo Matachronim Achar Tfilato. This is only where he's not accustomed to saying additional supplications <coughs> after his prayer. I would, I would necessarily, perhaps, perhaps understand this to mean tachanun, or your own personal supplications. Mm. It's up for, it's up for uh, your own interpretation, your own commentary here. I think what the additional supplications are. Personally, I think it's tachanun. There's no assistance on the side here. Um, 
אבל רגיל לומר תחנונים אחר תפילתו, if he is accustomed to recite supplications after prayer, חוזר לעבודה, he returns to רצה. איקת אמרי, there are those who say, אמר רב נחמן בר יצחק, that רב נחמן בר יצחק actually said, הד אמרן כי לא אקר רגליו חוזר לעבודה, that which we said, it is all the same thing, if he didn't yet uproot his feet, he returns to רצה, לא אמרן אלא שרגיל לומר, תחנונים אחר תפילתו, this is only where he's accustomed to saying additional supplications of his prayer. Aval im eno ragil lo matach nunim achar tefilat tochaz el rosh. If he's not accustomed to recite supplications after his prayer, now this is the case where he doesn't, he doesn't usually say additional supplications. He returns to the beginning of the entire. We would have literature. understood that anyway from what we've yeah. learned up till now. That's true. See the point. Yeah, like the obvious must mm. be, the opposite must obviously be mm. true. Um, however, that's what the halacha is regardless. The halacha is that, um, like today's halacha, mm. is that uh, regardless of additional supplications, he goes back to the beginning. Rabbi Eliezer Omer, Ha'oset filatol keva vechulei, he who makes his prayer fixed, now this is what we've been wanting to know for a few days, my keva, what does fixed mean? Ama Rabbi Yaakov Aridi, Ama Rabbi Yoshi Oshaya. Ko shitfilato doma alav kemosh ma soi. Anyone whose prayer is like a burden on him. That's one interpretation of fixed. Rabbanan Amre, ko mi she'enomra bilishon tachnunim. Anyone who doesn't recite in a supplicatory manner, like as if you're begging. Uh, that's another interpretation of fixed. Rabba Varav Yosef Damri Tarvayehu, they both say. Oh, oh look, there's the Tarvayehu. Remember we said yesterday that what was the word used for the three then? Tri Tlota. Yeah, Tlota was meant for three. Tlota. Oh, that's right. We Shlosha. Mm. And now this is Tarvayehu, so maybe I was getting it wrong. Tarvayehu is both. Uh, Shlosha, I thought, was Aramaic. It's my suggestion when we were discussing it. It doesn't sound Hebrew to me. So, they both said, Kol she'en o yachol lechadesh ba'dava. Anyone who's unable to innovate something in his prayer or add something new to his prayer, that's another explanation of fixed. Ama Rabbi Zera, Ana Yechil na lechud chadushe ba milta. I'm unable to innovate something in my prayer. Umis umis dilma mitridena, and I'm afraid to do so because I might become confused. Here it says, Rabbi Zera said, I could introduce a novel element in every prayer, but I am afraid that perhaps I will become confused. Oh, what did I say? That, that he couldn't. Oh, okay, sorry. I was, yeah, okay, I was blending that in the next one, sorry. Abaye baravin v'rabi chanina baravin de amre tarvayehu. This is the one I like the best. They both say, kol she'en mitpalel im dim dumei chama. Anyone who does not pray during the redness of the sun. Dama rabi chia barava amar rabi yochanan mitzvah lihit palel im dim dim dumei chama. It's a mitzvah to pray during the redness of the sun. So what's the verse that tells us this, that it's a mitzvah to pray then? They will fear you or have awe for you with the rising of the sun or with the sun and before the moon for generations upon generations. Do you have anything to add there? Not really. Can I add something? Yeah. So, so where is it that, where is it inside there is an idea of it being fixed or not fixed? What is it about the rising of the sun that is fixed and not fixed? I think what we may be talking about is the fact that at that time of the day, 
for early morning or late evening. There's a change taking place in nature that inspires us with a certain spiritual awe that something is happening that we're caught up in. Understood. And we're not just repeating words. Right. Whereas if uh, yes. the steady light, everything okay, da 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 you know, got to get through quick, 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 off to work, etc., etc. But when there's a change taking place in nature, we're emotionally tired Brilliant. of that change. That's it. I think that's exactly what it's saying. And it makes everything new as a result. In addition to that, may I add, yeah. um, to expand just a tiny bit, um, my thought about it was, it doesn't say make your, your prayer a variable time. No. It says don't make it a fixed. Don't mm -hmm. make it fixed. In other words, if you're going to compare it to dawn, right? Mm -hmm. Every day, most Minyanim, yeah, let's say most Minyanim have 6.30 service, mm -hmm. 7 o'clock service, 8 o'clock service, etc., etc., etc. That's fixed time. And it doesn't give any, um, doesn't give any uh, relationship mm. to the dawning of the day, yeah. which is the opposite, and obviously... Which goes back to the praise we had a couple of pages ago for Vatican. Vatican. Which is... Right. Why they do it at that time, mm. and why they especially yeah. designate... And therefore, it's not fixed because it's always variable no. at the time when the sun comes up and Depending down. Depending on the season. Exactly. Depending on the day. Mm. Depending on the day. Yeah. It was great for um, over winter time just now. The Vatikim was like seven o'clock <laughs> or something. <laughs> uh, I loved getting up in Nachlaot at um, quarter to four, going to the mikvah and then 4.30 you started davening so that by 5 o'clock What about your wife and children? That's the best part I was home by I was and home I by the time waking them up as you were getting ready to go off Oh no I just um, Did you wake without the necessity of an alarm? Uh, no my this went off but my wife oh. had, my wife uses earplugs Ah, so she can't hear me oh, snoring. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, it's quite easy. You just leave home with the towel. Pretty much it. Um, that was awesome. That time of the day, there is something special. Mm. And that ties in. Your experience ties in with what's being recommended here. Yeah. No way. Um Layete Ala Bamarava Aman de Mitsale Im Dimdome Hama. Uh in the West they would condemn a person who prayed uh, during the redness of the sun. This was Mincha. Mait Hama, what's the reason? Perhaps they will lose the opportunity to pray complete to pray at all. Uh Rabbi Yahushua Mir. One who travels in a dangerous place prays a short prayer. At every parsha, parshat, ha'ibur. Yay, we're finally going to define ha'ibur. Now, um, so my parashat ha'ibur, uh, I've got a note here that says you can also look at that as saying my parishat ha'ibur, which means uh, Perush, what's the explanation of Ibur? Amar Rav Chisa Amar Ukva, Asilu Besha'ashe'a Tamit Mitmale Alehem Evra Keisha Ubara, even in a time that you become filled with anger, Evra, against them like a pregnant woman, Yihiyu Kol Tzarachehem Lepanecha, may all their needs be before you. So what they're saying, when you become full of anger as if you could explode 
Right. I don't think that must be a reference to the way a pregnant woman sort of barely contains the child. So this is also... Uh, now, this is specifically in reference to one who travels in a dangerous place, prays a short prayer. They say, Save, O Hashem, your nation, the remnant of Israel. May their needs be before you. At every Pashat Haibu, may their needs be before you. So, so, it's, so what it means is when you get angry, or when, when I get angry, God, please still look after me. Ika de Amre, there are those who say, Amara Pisa, Amara Ukva, I feel the of Rim, even at a time when they transgress, I'll live Torah, the words of Torah. You call Sarachem Lefanecha, may all their needs be before you. So this is what it means by the whole Parashat Ha'ibur. So as opposed to it being a dangerous place, you could, it, maybe, it, I think it's being a bit more introspective when we are, when we are in a personal moment where we're angry or we transgress, mm-hmm. We're asking God for, for still to look after us. I think that that's what that's what I'm reading here. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I can't come up with anything better. So. so a short prayer. What is this short prayer? Here are several versions. Tanu Rabbanan, Hamealech bim kam gedure gedude chayve listim mitpalel tefilah katara. When he travels in a place infested with bands, wild animals, and robbers. Praise a short prayer, the Eze Hit Filaka Tara, what is his prayer? Rabbi Lezer Romer, Ase Retonecha, Beshamimi Maal, do your will in the heavens above, Beten Nachat Ruach Lirecha, Mitachat, grant peace of mind to those that fear you below, Vatobenecha Ase, and what is good in your eyes, do, Barukata, Shem Shmet Fila, Rabbi Osho Omer, Shema Shavat Amecha Israel, hear the groan of your nation Israel. Fulfill speedily their request. Baruch atah Hashem shmet filah. Rabbi Eliezer, be Rabbi Tzadok Omer, Shema ta'akat amecha Yisrael. Hear the cry of your nation Israel. Vaseh me'ere be kashatam. And fulfill speedily their request. Baruch atah Hashem shmet filah. Acherim omrim, Sarche amecha Yisrael merubin. The needs of your nation Israel are many. But their mind is limited. May it be your will, Hashem, our God. Give each and every one enough for his sustenance. And to each and every body what it lacks. Baruch Hashem, Shomei Tfila. Amarav Huna, Halacha, Ke'acherim. Amale Eliahula Rav Yoda Kuha de Rav Sala Hasida Lotir Tachvelo Techte, don't become angry and you will not sin. Lotir Ve Velo Techte, don't become intoxicated and you will not sin. Ul Shata Yotela Dere, when you set out on your way, Himalech Bekonecha Bete, the leave of your Creator, and then you can leave. My Himalech Bekonecha Vete. What does it mean, beg leave of your Creator and then leave? Ama Rabbi Yaakov, Ama Rav Chista, Zo Tfilat Haderech. Ama Rabbi Yaakov, Ama Rav Chista, Kol Hayotel Haderech, Tarifli Palel Tfilat Haderech. Everyone who leaves needs to say that prayer. My Tfilat Haderech. What is the Tfilat Haderech? Lead me toward peace. Place my footsteps toward peace. Uphold me in peace. May you rescue me from the hand of every foe and ambush along the way. May you send blessing in my hand, you equity. Grant me peace, kindness. 
sorry, grant me grace, kindness and mercy in your eyes. Over ene chol ro'ai, in the eyes of all who see me, Baruch atah Hashem, Shomei Tila. Amar Abaye, Le'olam. I would have liked it if if that had been like a full stop there. Amar Abaye, Le'olam. Always we should do that. Le'olam, Lishatef inash nafshe behadei tibura. Okay. We'll do that tomorrow. And uh, as